Peace family, Remnants Gathering, a.k.a. Weirdo Gang Gang. This is Camson, the Oracle, one half of Remnants Gathering. And I'm coming to you today to share some information with you that I've really been trying to go about my day and do my routine. You know, I told you all, create the Ten Commandments for yourself. We're returning to an I am state of being. We are returning to the origin of our authentic selves, um, who our soul, um, you know, is calling us back to to be our higher selves and with that being said i have only done three of my five commandments for the daytime so i am stopping to do this because i don't know i just could not push it out of my mind so i said let me go ahead and, and do the video now um so and if you don't know about the ten commandments five for day five for night just you know the video is there the information is there um, I, I may even take it and put it on the website, too. Um, if anybody watching this and you remember me giving that out, um, this was to help you create a routine to integrate with your higher self. Please share that with them for me. Um, OK, so the social distancing, social distancing, it has been bugging me. And I wanted to know the spiritual impact of this. And this is what I've received. Everything is multidimensional now. Nothing is one thing. I say steer clear of anyone who is teaching something and they're only teaching it from one perspective or one way. It's usually not going to be um, something that's going to resonate with consciousness of 4D, 5D and up. So um, the social distancing is happening for several reasons. They're saying it's to slow down, you know, the virus from going from person to person. Okay, that's one thing, but everything is spiritual and then natural, right? So the supernatural reason behind this is that a lot of us, us star seeds, those of us who are awakening to our divinity, the gods and goddesses um, of the earth, what's happening is we are being given an opportunity to keep our auric field free of other people's toxic auric fields. And so this is uh, like consecration for star seeds who are awakening. So whereas maybe in the past you're tr you've trying to keep people out of your um, heart resonance, your electromagnetic field around you, which can extend anywhere from six feet to ten feet or more. Um, if you're doing work to expand your auric field, then it can expand farther than that. But this is why they have the six feet thing. OK, and keep in mind why they're using six, you know, six, six, six. That's that's in relation to the atom. That's in relation to Adam, the atoms, A-T-O-M-S. Um, you know, the number six, flip it upside down is nine divine feminine. There's so many reasons and they speak in code. But with the six feet thing, people are also buried six feet deep. So what's happening is people who were <clears throat> used to be dead, we are coming online and we are alive now. And now that we are alive with our electromagnetic field, the frequency around us is becoming fifth dimensional. So it's increasing, it's expanding. And if you have read anything about energy healing and watched any videos, you know that just someone being in your vicinity can have an impact. You can impact them or they can impact you energetically. So this is consecration for us. This is when you can tell people that usually you couldn't tell that to. Uh, can you back up a little bit? I'm social distancing. And unfortunately, people are more liable to trust the media and be obedient to that than to respect the boundaries that you are trying to enforce. So, hey, you got a buffer here. You got some, some, some support. You know, you got a little excuse to get people up out of your auric field. If it ain't feeling right, you know, social distancing. <laughs> I say take the stuff that's being used to enslave people and use it to benefit you. Okay. Now, another reason that this is happening is because if there is someone around you, and let's just say this person is kind of on the fence. This person is, is not really wanting to be 3D consciousness, but has no idea where to start. And, and they're awakening. Well, them being in your auric field is going to do what? Energy healing. It's going to awaken them. It is going to power them up. <clears throat> and, okay, baby. And, and so 
this the six feet thing prevents the resonance and frequency of our heart chakra from impacting those who they are slowly but surely losing to their system of programming and way of doing things. Do y'all get what I'm saying? So if you know someone, uh, and most of the time we don't know and they don't know either because this is on a cellular level that this is happening within our DNA encoding um, and mRNA. This is happening. And this is why they have been hitting us with the nanoparticles so heavily, you know, to try to stop this from happening. So look at the power of love and how strong that fifth dimensional frequency is. And then you look at the one of fear. Okay. And so if someone of fear steps into your auric field of love, from my understanding, correct me if I'm wrong, but love is more powerful than fear. It is a higher um, voltage, a higher um, frequency. The vibration is very different. And so they're probably going to be impacted. You may not see immediate results, but know that they have been impacted. Um, and so this is what they're trying to stop from happening. We can actually heal people that aren't resistant to awakening. So, yes, we are evolving, okay? Ride the wave of love. That's what it's all about, the wave of love. And aligning yourself to the resonance of daughter earth and mother universe, you know, it's just, it's, it's impenetrable, okay? And you will not get a virus. You will not get sick. This will protect you. So do some research and find ways that you can expand your auric field, protect your auric field, um, because for the new earth, this is something, this is basic training for the new earth, and we're going to have to know these things to exist in the new earth, okay? So, yeah, all right, let me know what y'all think. Comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Check out the website remnantsgathering.com. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the donations, the encouragement. We love y'all. And as we always say, man, your third eye has just been kissed. Peace.